They're urging people not to be scared. The scientists know the best defense against anthrax is our knowledge, understanding that the way it's been sent to people in America is not likely to kill if we're vigilant and spot anything suspicious. In the microbiology department at Nottingham's Queen's Medical Center, they're well prepared for anything which might happen. The terrorists have failed in this case because the way they're delivering it is a porous method of delivery and the, the worst that they can cause is a very limited skin uh, uh, pustule or problem that is never going to be uh, uh, as bad as people think. But they will succeed if they cause terror and scare people. That's the idea and they have so far managed to cause that in America but I'm glad that to say that in UK we are now uh, ahead of them. On the streets here, there's some alarm, but not too much panic. I'm not sure if it's going to happen here or not. It is pretty scary, though. Over in America, I feel sorry for the people here, so I kind of go, it does worry me a bit. Can't be frightened by these people. I won't let them uh, put me off doing anything. <laughs> so the message from here is there's no need to panic, because if you do, that's exactly what the terrorists want. Tony Rowe, Eastmidlands Today at the Queen's Medical Centre in Nottingham.